Um, good evening for those of you that don't know me. My name is Angela Blackerby and I'm the project coordinator of the Learning Connection sites and also the teacher at the Schulte location. And I'd like to welcome you to the Service Center and thank you for being here tonight at the Learning Connections class of 2015 graduation celebration. The Service Center, along with our sponsoring school districts, are what enable us to have these wonderful adult diploma completion programs. Adult students, as you all know, face a particular, particularly difficult set of challenges. Most students have to juggle a job, families, and their studies at the same time. The students we celebrate tonight have met these challenges. They've shown courage, intelligence, patience, and determination. They have shown us that they all have what it takes to achieve anything, and we're extremely proud of their accomplishments. The other piece of the puzzle that makes this all possible is my wonderful team, and I'd like to take a moment and introduce them. Um, Rod Spatz here is a teacher at the Mulvane Learning Connection. Uh, Jessica Heydrich is another teacher at the Mulvane Learning Connection. Sandy Richhuber over there is one of our administrative assistants at the Schulte location. Patricia Becker, another wonderful administrative assistant at the Schulte location. And Shirley Farmer, she's one of the teachers who has been really great about helping everyone with math, which is not my favorite subject. So a uh, teacher at the Schulte location too. Um, and I have to tell you guys, I feel very lucky to work with this amazing group of people. They are all fantastic and make this all really smooth for me. So we're very excited to celebrate our wonderful group of graduates here with you tonight. And we'd like to start out a little unconventionally by having cake and punch, just because if I don't make you guys eat cake now, you'll leave me with a whole bunch. And I don't want a whole bunch when I go. So um, we're going to have you start over there. If you haven't already gotten a drink, get a drink. And then if you'll start forming the line over here, we'll start serving cake. And then we'll talk about our graduates here in just a minute after we have a little cake. So. Uh, I'm fortunate enough tonight to uh, get to introduce our first uh, graduate, and that's uh, Serena uh, Shore. So, Serena, you want to come up here, let everybody see you. Serena is from from Mayfield, Kansas. I know a lot of uh, a lot of you don't know the people we have at Mulvane, and Mulvane doesn't know the Shorty people. Serena is from uh, Mayfield, Kansas, little town west of uh, west of Wellington, and. Uh, Got that beautiful Sumner County wheat down there, and uh, you know I grew up dr going through that uh, that area when I was a kid. My grandmother lived at Caldwell, Kansas, and uh, both my grandmother and granddad were Bohemians, Czechoslovakians, and uh, we drive through there about every other Saturday, going down to see my grandmother. And, uh, we'd go down through Clearwater and a little place called Anson, that you'll know where it's at. Yes. Nobody else will, <laughs> and on down to Caldwell. So. Uh, Anyway, we had a lot of good memories down through there as a kid. Um, Serena came to us. Well, let, let me tell you first, uh, living in Mayfield, I read her My Life essay, and Serena said she loves her family, she loves Mayfield, she loves fishing and hunting, and uh, her little boy's name is Ruger, and I, I kind of made a, a connection there. Ruger and hunting, that goes together. She says she just loves Ruger, and I, I got to say I love all four of mine too. So, so anyway, uh, we kind of have some shooting and guns and stuff in common, I guess, and uh, I like that about girls that hunt. So anyway, uh, Serena came to us this year, uh, first time at Mulvane, and uh, I hope I don't say Sabrina sometime during oh, the day. I, it's fine. Uh, I so it far, it's Serena, and I'm, I'm getting it right. Um, she needed four and a half credits, and that was that was nine classes. And she started on August 18th. She took uh, two science classes, uh, two history classes, two English classes, a math class, and then for electives, I think a, I think a um, computer class and one other class. So she took nine semester classes and did it in, in three months. And that's just incredible. I've, I've uh, worked with adult education practically since I re retired, and that's been 13 years and, uh, in adult education. And she's within 
two or three people I can count that's done what she's done, and she made really good grades doing it. She was so pleasant. She came in during the orientation days, and she worked hard. Uh, I didn't have a lot of contact with Serena because I worked mainly afternoons and evenings until uh, 7 o'clock. Jessica had quite a bit of contact with her, but uh, mainly orientation days at that and, and maybe phone communication or something because Serena did most of her work at home on her own and, and didn't take a lot of help, didn't require a lot of help. She just did it. And as I understand from Jessica, maybe that was when your son was at school. Yes. When, it, when he left, she would go to school and she quit when he got home from school. And that's, I quit that's when just Dr. Incredible. Phil came on. I had oh, to watch Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was watching that yesterday. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, it's, it's really a pleasure uh, to have Serena graduate in our school. Uh, like I said, we, I haven't had a handful of students like her in, in 13 years of doing this. Uh, Serena did mention that she wanted to go to college, and, and I really hope she does because she is a, she's a perfect student, and she'll do well at, at anything she wants to do. She just has that push and that drive and doesn't have to have somebody calling her all the time or trying to get her to do what's right. She's, she's just an incredible person, so we thank you for coming to our school, and we'll give you your diploma now, okay, okay. Uh, if you want to come around this way. And uh, here's... Uh, like I said earlier, we were expecting another graduate from Mulvain, um, and he didn't show up, and I know that uh, Jessica's a little bit disappointed because he um, was one of her students that she worked with a lot. So um, I'm sorry that he couldn't be here tonight, but we did have another Mulvane graduate who was going to come tonight. Um, our first graduate from the Schulte site is Brittany Hall. Yes. <laughs> it's alphabetical if you want to get nervous, if, like I do. I usually sit there and sweat when it's my turn. If you want to come stand up here. Yeah. This year, Brittany earned two half credits with us, but in her total time, she earned 11 and a half credits. <coughs> Um, when she walked in this semester, I could tell she was really <laughs> serious about finishing this year. She had a very determined look on her face. And I think she was a bit relieved when she found out that she had already finished her government class. She didn't remember yeah, that. She'd blocked yeah. it out because it was so painful for her. No, um, she was very driven. She came in every day to work until she finished. Um, one of the most important things in Brittany's life is her son. And I hope that one day he will know <laughs> how hard that she worked to accomplish this goal of earning her diploma. Brittany, we're so proud of you. And we know that whatever you do, you're going to be great at it. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Congratulations. If you'd like to say anything to your family, a thanks or anything? <laughs> no? Congratulations, Brittany. Congratulations. Pause. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Kara Hubert's next. Kara Hubert completed one credit at the Learning Connection this year and three credits during her time with us as a student. Um, it's pretty amazing accomplishment because she also works, I think, about a bajillion hours. That's the technical, the technical <laughs> term, a bajillion hours um, at, as a store manager. So I know that she works a lot, so it was quite a, an achievement for her to come in and finish the classes that she needed to finish. She is one of the kindest people that I have ever met, and she has an amazing heart. Um, she is planning on going to college, I know, um, and I know that she's going to be great at it because she's so smart. She's such a great student, so she's going to be great at it. We look forward to hearing about whatever your future successes are. I know you'll do great things with that great heart of yours, Kara. Congratulations. We're super proud of you. Jessica Cohen Asensio.
Now, Jessica, I think, would give Serena from earlier. You guys remember Serena, right? <laughs> she would give Serena a run for her money. Um, she earned nine and a half credits this year at the Learning Connection and 14 total in her time with us. Um, she's got a family that keeps her very busy. Her kids are involved in so many activities. I'm not quite sure how she does it all. Um, I do know that she would take her kids to school, kind of the same thing I think that Serena was doing, take her kids to school, and then she would work on her schoolwork the whole time unless she had something else going on. So she was working on her schoolwork all day, which it takes a lot of dedication. Um, she loves to work out and is always challenging herself to try something new. She asked me at the beginning of the year to help pace out this coursework, and I kind of looked at her like, this is a lot of work. Are you sure you want to do it in one year? And she said, yes, I do. I said, okay, let's make a schedule. Um, it was a grueling schedule, but she stuck with it no matter what life was throwing her way. We bonded over many math problems, which is about as fun as it sounds, people. A lot of math problems. I never doubted for a minute that she was going to finish, no matter what was going on in her life, and I'm so very proud of her hard work. I know she plans to attend college, and I can hardly wait to see what the future holds for her. Congratulations, Jessica. Thank you. Stephanie Spencer. <laughs> Stephanie Spencer only needed one credit to graduate with us when she came. She needed one, and she completed that one credit in a month, which, again, is pretty outstanding. Um, quick pace, pretty quick pace. She has a wonderful positive attitude, one of the best attitudes I've ever seen. No matter what was going on, she would always say, I'm going I'm to do this. It's okay. I can get through this. I can do this. I can do this. Um, I believe it will take her far in life. She has a young son that means the world to her, and in her free time, she likes to travel listen to music, and spend time with her loved ones. In the future, I know that Stephanie plans to attend Wichita State University, and she said something about studying the brain. I'm hoping that she won't ever want to study mine, <laughs> but I know she wants to study neurology. And Stephanie, we wish you the best of luck. We're very proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you all for attending tonight. I know that our graduates are grateful for your support, and they couldn't have done it without the support of their family and friends. Um, I'd like to ask our graduates if they would gather over here at our little backdrop for a quick picture, and then I will let you all go. Um, thank you all again for coming, and have a great night.